What's up friends of the good mood? This is Money and welcome to yet another match session here on my own Android account with this hangar that you can see right now. I uh, I have a Rogatka now and I put the Carnage back in. Let's see um, how well we can do with this. I want to have some fun and still improve this account, right? Um, getting some weapons upgraded. This Rogatka right there that I have here, uh, I, uh, I want to test something with this. Something I've seen in a video. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about. If you walk up to a Griffin or maybe even other bots and from behind very close and you jump you can make them jump instead i want to test that i don't know if it works so let's go and have let's go ahead and test this oh there's a griffin hold on is he gonna jump now let me let me tell oh he is jumping okay let me see if i can give him another jump all right all right here we go all right all right i'm gonna walk up to him from behind and then jump oh uh, it didn't work <laughs> I, just, I saw that in a video where somebody made the other guy jump instead the whole time Let's do it again. Nope. Doesn't work. Why not? <laughs> He's like, what the heck do you want from me, dude? Go away. <laughs> he just kept going next to me. Um, but I saw somebody using a Rogatka, and when he jumped, basically what happened is, he, uh, you know, the, the other guy jumped instead. And he basically put it, gave him his, uh, his jump power, so to speak. That was super awesome, dude. All right, there is the little uh, uh, the little Kamiho sitting there. All right, he's shooting me, and he's constantly dashing, and it's impossible to hit this guy. But he's dead, thankfully. Wow. Oh, this constant dash left, dash right, dash left, dash right, and you just never, you always lose track or you're aiming. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good jump there that I've done. Uh, Bulgazari three times. Tolumbas. Interesting. I'd rather have this guy running Tolumbas, to be honest, than anything uh, that deals more damage to me. Uh, there's a griffin up there. I can hit him when I jump, like this. Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Nice. So there was something is exactly in front of, over, above me here. Oh, man. Uh, we have a Bulgazari to our far side outside, like to the right. What is this guy doing? Look at this! He's just sniping with his uh, geckos from all the way over there. Wow. Uh, there's a trident uh, fury above me. Okay, I can do a little bit of damage and I can ma make him miss his shots. That was actually very good. Even if I haven't really done much damage to him, I still was able to deplete, basically, and uh, make him miss his ammo. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> he walks behind cover. Oh, well. Um, so far, it doesn't look too bad. I wish I could attack that gecko, uh, that gecko guy right there, but I know that this guy would probably have something against me doing this. Oh, I got the shock train in my back. You notice the damage drop. My HP dropped from, I don't know, 70% to 20 in, like, boop, a second. That's the Bulgazari behind me with um, with lots of, uh, you know, shock trains. So this guy over there, I'm, I'm not sure if he jumps down. He might be, he, it, it would be funny if he tries to jump down, but you can see his rockets coming down. He's firing at the guy from, uh, at the rhino from above, uh, from, yeah, from above. Okay, I'm not really much of a help there, but I can once again be a little bit of a nuisance to him. It's really, he, he must, let, let's, he, you gotta give him that. He got, he got himself a really, really good com, uh, position up there. Uh, where he can do a lot of useful stuff with his, um, what is it called? With the, uh, uh oh, there's a Hayashi. Fire out the Hayashi, yes. Yes, we need to kill that Hayashi. Maybe he's busy with somebody, that would be great. Yes, yes, he's busy. Oh, now Hayashi versus Hayashi. But, oh my god, there's too many Hayashis. Another one right there. How am I still alive with this one, with this one <laughs> Rogatka? <laughs> this one Rogatka is the only thing I'm playing the whole round. Wow, that is weird. Yeah, he wants that Hayashi. Look, he just really wants the Hayashi killed, and now he gets me because I I lost an Orkin. Uh, no, I lost a Tyron, and I'm so low HP now. <laughs> but dude, that was funny. That was a funny video, a, a funny funny moment so far that we have been able to do so much with this one Rogatka. I, I really thought we were going to die so much faster than that. Am I going to be able to hit him? I'm not sure if I did some damage. I think there was a cover in between. 
Uh, the, that Heishi I could have killed. We now have an energy shield. And, oh, so it looks like this Zeus just uh, went right into his flank, right? Looks like we were able to flank his flank some damage in. Yep, once again, we are. He's getting attacked from behind now. And uh, he's getting attacked from all sides. He's, like, just getting whooped from everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Zzzzp. Uh oh, I think there's a Scourge, uh, Scourge Zeus uh, uh, Lancelot coming up. Very popular combination, by the way, because you have you go with uh, through the through the energy shields of your opponents with every little shot that you do. So I think we haven't really done all too much damage, but it was still fun, and that's the only thing that matters to me, man. Four hundred thirty thousand damage, not to with second place with pretty much just that one Rogatka that has level eight Tarans. Level 8 Rogatka with level 8 Tyrants twice. <laughs> and we have just been scoring scoring second damage, uh, second in damage. Um, even though the enemies were running Shock Train, Bogazaris, and friends were running a lot of Haeshis and whatnot, I don't know how they how they managed to not succeed with that. Um, yeah, let's spawn in the Carnage first, because why not, right? It has some good range, and it has a shield, and against certain enemies, this is really, really a nightmare to kill. Um, but, of course, we, uh, we are very vulnerable to everything with Plasma with very low HP. 95,000 HP is very low. Basically, uh, if somebody has a Shock Train, Bolgazari or something, that would be my nightmare. I couldn't really do anything against that. I know that the enemies have... Oh, see, there's a, uh, Zeus Tempest Fury again. Weird. Um, and there's a Komiho going this way, and a Komiho going the other way. Okay, I'm taking damage already, but I'm also causing some damage. Oh yeah, I just got hit by Shock Train, and I lost my entire bot pretty much. Yep, I pretty much lost my entire bot with the one Shock Train hit from from this Bulgazari right there. Instant damage delivery. Not even there's not even a room for you to understand that a, a weapon with that much power is aiming at you, so that uh, it it starts dealing low damage and goes higher, higher, higher if you don't move in cover, which would you know, uh, be a, a fair thing if a weapon deals is that this devastating. But no, this weapon delivers all its damage in one single button press, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. So there's a, a Lancelot with uh, Tarans, which I can wonderfully uh, annoy with this thing. Oh, first we might have to uh, deal with that uh, that thing there. Two Komijos are attacking our beacon at the same time and this guy just can't stop dashing around left right left right wow our lancelot right here is wonderful he's doing a great job man do you see that one lancelot right there who's doing such an important job at keeping the, all the enemies at bay the whole time that is wonderful and also we with our little shield here and that little um that little garrett man we have really really this guy wow amazing job he's done there and we can even attack a little Haeshi there, move a little bit up to him, and keep firing. I really want to deal damage. But since he was having a, w a wall behind him, um, the, the, the plasma shots uh, you know, b basically go through you. That is something I keep noticing, that when you have a wall behind you, like you're standing with a back against a wall, that is what's causing uh, plasma weapons to go through you. I don't know why this happens, but it is a—it's a—it's a very known bug for quite a bit, and uh, it needs to be dealt with. Although plasma tyrants are already so devastating, uh, to be honest, it's not the worst thing in the world that you know something is kind of making them not deal as much damage. Sometimes, Zeus car uh, Zeus Fury is aiming down on me. I want to get that beacon here captured because it's our beacon here. It's basically our almost our home beacon. And uh, we ha we are not in control of it. That's terrible. We were we were doing such a great job at holding this beacon right there, and then we lost uh, our home beacon somehow. I I need to attack him and take him out. Yeah, there he goes. Nice. All right. I don't know if I may uh, go reach this point in time. But I really want to capture their beacon over there. I'm even I'm even regenerating the two Tyrant shots that I just used. Hopefully this is not a jump bot that he has. It might be a jump bot though. 
I don't know what it was. I couldn't quite scout it. I couldn't uh, quite scout what he has there. I'm able to capture the beacon, though. This is good. Ah, it's a Leo with uh, rockets. Thunder, rocket, Leo. And he's taking damage. That's great. Somebody is with me here. Wow. I'm getting backup. I never get backup. Yeah, we got backup. Yay. Oh, wait a minute. It's Gecko. It's a Gecko Thunder Leo. What a weird thing is that. <laughs> okay. Why does he have... Oh, wait a minute. That's a jumping griff in there. Uh, death button, if I saw that right. We need to stay out of his 300 meters rocket range. It, he will jump at me. And I will try to counter jump away. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oof, that was close. Did you see that, uh, that shock train aiming at me? Yeah, now this is, of course, allowing this guy to come closer. Okay. Now we can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to him. Oh, my goodness. Did you see how he j just dashes twice away? There's no chance to get in range. Not even with a fast bot. He just dashes out twice. And he gets more than 100 meter distance to you. And you just don't stand the slightest chance of ever uh, getting in range of this of this guy. Nice. Dude. Oh, no. I was reloading my Tyrants. I wish I could have helped, helped my uh, Hayashi friend there. But unfortunately, I reloaded my Tyrants right in the wrong time. Dude, get around the corner. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Legs damaged. Wonderful. Ooh, yeah, we're going to lose this beacon now. For sure. I'm getting stuck with my back against every wall the whole time. Wow, really? Wow, dude. He really wanted that cheap kill. <laughs> oh, man. He came all the way over there just to get that kill. Oh, man. Hayashi, Shock Train, Hayashi this. The only things I have left now is things that can deal rocket damage. And I have to deal with two full Hayashis right there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one of them Hayashis is not really full. But you saw his, his, his laser right there, right? He just lasered another kill. And this guy with his Orcans, he just is just going to kill me. There's nothing I can really do against that. I just need to deplete his shield whenever I can. Need to deplete the shield. So that once I get him in... Oh, no. See? See? I just wasted important firepower. And I wasted it again. No, not that, that one was not a waste. Okay. I need to battle in Haeshi with my little griffin. This is going to be a crazy and very hard thing to do. Um, I, I cannot allow him to regenerate his shield for free there. Oh, yes. Yeah, somebody took out his shield. Awesome. I don't know who it was. But somebody has been very helpful right now. See, he dashes out, he dashes in, and he has not taken any damage. He's not suffered any risk. No risk taken, just damage done with no risk. And that's what's so frustrating against these, these bots. Come on, die. Oh my god, is that close. It's You see that I even had a little bit of backup from behind where he dropped the shield a little. And, uh, and this guy just dash out, kill me, half my bot, dash in. No damage taken, pretty I much. I still, I have, wait a minute, I have one Orkin. That's, that's all I have. I have one Orkin, really? One Orkin is left. I've lost two pinatas and one Orkin at the same time. Ugh. All right. So far, it looks like we actually have a chance. Look at this, guys. We actually, look. It, it almost looks like we're having a chance here. If, if we can maintain the beacon control then we will actually win this and so I'm you know what I'm not going to the uh, to the left and to the right side now because we only need to hold what we have already actually you know what I'm going to jump here now because this is the only way I can still do a bit of damage because uh, the round is gonna end in a second and I want to do a bit of damage before that happens I fired the aphids first, so they drop the shield, so that then my Orkin rockets can come in. And they are now taking the beacon with a lot of power, but we managed to hold it. The whole time we managed to hold these beacons. And, uh, yeah, I am, I'm really glad that I was able to hold my own for that long against certain dash mods right there. It's probably not very high in the damage statistics. Third place. Um, 
But yeah, we won this even. Great round. And uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys also had fun watching it. And if so, then leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.